Hey guys, welcome back to Expo Hub channel, myself Rakesh and in this video, I am going to teach you how you can download the latest UiPath Studio available version and the second step I am going to teach you, how will you sign in to UiPath after you have downloaded and installed, how you are going to sign in and the third thing I am also going to show you, how you are going to connect the UiPath assistant to orchestrator. So all the things we are going to learn step by step. So let's get started. So the very first step is you have to log into something called cloud.uipath.com. Now for this, I am going to start from the very beginning so that it becomes quite easy. So first of all, let me type cloud.uipath.com. Okay. So when you, for the first time when you do it, it's going to ask you to sign in using your email address. So sign in, complete the sign up process. And once you are done with that, which remains quite basic with all the websites. So once you sign in, you would find this is the landing page. Ensure you are signing in in a valid email address. Okay. So once you have done the sign up, this is the landing page you would see. The very first step to download UiPath Studio, hit on this help option. Okay. And then there are two different options, preview and stable. So I'm, I have installed stable, so just download and run that executable file, it's going to install studio. So first step is done. So once you have installed, this is the page you are going to see, sign in to get started. And this is where many people will be highly confused, how do I sign in? Okay, now before you sign in, what you do, type UiPath Assistant type UiPath assistant and click on this. Okay. The moment you do this, you will find UiPath assistant window would open. So do not do anything on this. Just try to close this particular window. I'm going to tell you how to sign it. That will happen automatically once we are connected with the UiPath assistant. Okay. So open the UiPath assistant and now here you have this uh, icon. Click on this preferences and then hit on preferences so what would happen it is going to bring you a page which i'm going to show you give it a second all right so this is the page click on orchestrator settings all right click on orchestrator settings and it will show you service url and all of that generally it will remain blank for you okay nothing would be there it will be blank now in this case what to do I'm going to teach you how do you connect, what is the service URL, there is also another option called machine key. So how do I really connect and get licensed here? So for that, let's go back to our orchestrator page. So till now what you have done, you have downloaded and you are trying to sign in. That's all. We have not done anything else apart from that. So now you are on this page. So what you do, click on admin. The very first step is click on admin. All right. And then here hit on add tenant. Okay. Select all the possible options given to you as it's a free option uh, for learning purpose. I'm going to select all of these options and I'm going to hit on save. And it is asking me to provide a tenant name. You see got an error. So I'm going to provide a tenant name called IT. So what is a tenant? For example, for which give it a name. Let's say you can say uh, for learning, IT, HR, any department name or anything, any name you want to give or your own name, give it a tenant name and here you can, you have the color option to select from. Let me select some color and hit on save. All right. So first thing what we have done, we came to admin and we have created a tenant. Okay. Give it few seconds for it to create the tenant. Now you can see the tenant has been created. All right. So once this is done, second step, you need to click on orchestrator. So click on orchestrator. Getting it very simple. Step by step, we are going. All right. Now this orchestrator page, there's a start guide. I am going to close it. You can go through that. Now in this particular page, what is the thing I should do? The first thing you have to do is hit on tenant. Click on this tenant window. The moment you click, you can see the entire window has changed. For example, if I click, click on share, 
there's a different options available here the moment i hit on tenant all the options are changing so hit on tenant all right so once you hit on tenant the very first step i am going to do i am going to hit on folders okay hit on folders and here i am going to create a folder for myself so i'm going to say it folder you can provide a description if you want and there are two different options here tenant package feed create a new package feed i'm going to leave it as it is and hit on create you can provide a description if you need so i'm going to hit on create all right so what happened the it folder got created i'm going to highlight the it folder here all right and then here it is saying assign account group and there is also something called machine do you see it is asking me to add a machine so this is the first step i have done i have created a folder now the second thing what i will do i'll hit on machines here i'm in the still in the tenant okay tenant is clicked and here i'm hitting on machines let's create a let's add a machine click on add and here i am going to use the machine template okay i'm going to use a machine template did you see it let me do it again i hit on machine hit on this drop down and i'm selecting machine template all right here i'm providing the name let's say I'm, uh, my pc name is rakesh or you can give any name i've given a name here you can provide a description if you need otherwise it's all fine here this is the this is the option which is very very important here i'm going to select production unattended one you cannot go beyond that because it's a community edition you have limited for learning purpose they have given this license to you now here i am selecting one testing also i think there will be one let's see what is yeah only one is given so select those maximum available options for you and hit on and here there are a couple of options process type a uh, foreground background keep it all okay do not change anything keep it all and now i am going to hit on provision so our second step is done we have created a folder now i have created a machine so why i have created a folder why i have created a machine it will be very clear as we continue forward so once this machine is created what you see here there is a machine key do you see there is a machine key over here so i'm going to copy the machine key okay you can also see the machine key by hit, clicking on this and if you hit on um, view install versions not this one if you try to edit machine do you see the machine key got generated which is auto generate you can also copy from here so that's all you have done till now let's go back let's go back to the tenant i'm going to hit on tenant again i'll go to the folder and here i am going to select the it folder okay because i am going to work on this it folder so i'm going to select this it folder and here i'll go to machine clear so once you go to the machine click on manage machine in folder so the machine just now we have created that will auto reflect you just select this machine and hit on update that's all by doing that in the it folder this machine got that means my machine has gained access to this particular folder it folder okay now hit on users okay hit on users and here you see by default your email address has automatically been added and the name is also been added okay uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to hit on this and hit on edit okay so look at this your email address your name everything is automatically pulled in uh, roles okay here what i'm going to do i'm going to provide all the roles i'm going to select all the roles okay in the role section i have done that now let's scroll down and hit on next all right now if you hit on next there is something called robot setup so i'm going to enable the attended robot and i am going to leave all this default options as it is in it license from the users group so i'll leave it as it is and for the unattended robot i am also going to enable this okay and here there are two options machine login credential run only so i am going to select machine login credential clear one by one we are going step by step we are going it should be very very clear just follow that for the first time when you are doing just follow as i am doing so it will be helpful so i have 
enabled machine login credentials. Now, if you see, it is asking for domain username. So how do I get the domain username? Pretty simple. I'll open command prompt. Okay. Now in the command prompt, I'm going to say, who am I? Who am I? Okay. So the moment you type, this is what the output, whatever the output is coming, just copy that. Copy that and come over here and paste it. Simple. If there are any space, remove it. Fine. Now once it is done, it is asking for the password. So let me enter my password. Okay. Enter your Windows password. So if you lock your PC, you enter a password, right? The same password you have to enter. The moment you do a Windows lock and then you type in the password and log in to your PC, the same password you need to enter. Okay. Once this is done, that's all. Nothing to check. Run only the job. Nothing to check here. Just simply hit on next. Done. And here also no changes required for the, I'm not making any changes. I'm leaving it as it is and I'm going to hit on update. Simple. So what we have done, we have set the attended robot and unattended robot to gain access to this particular IT folder through this user. Okay. So everything has been set. Now let's go back to the UiPath assistant and I am in the preferences page. So if you have missed how do we how I have opened this preference page, let me tell you. The first thing you do is you you type UiPath Assistant and then hit on this, and this is the window which would appear. Now on this, I'm going to hit on this icon, hit on preferences, wait for a few seconds, and then you would find the preferences page. Very simple. So we are we have done all the learnings on the orchestrator, all the required steps that I have to take I have taken it now there are also another couple of simple ways to do it but again this is required for you to learn that's why I'm teaching you now once that is done click on orchestrator settings now here what I will do I am going to hit on the machine key and you see my machine name has been automatically pulled in now here it is asking me enter the orchestrator URL so how do you find the orchestrator URL? Let's go back and you have created a tenant. Do you remember you have given an IT or you might have given your own name or some other name you would have given. So copy the link until there. Okay. Just to keep it simple, do not copy the entire link. Just copy it until your tenant name. I've copied that. I'll go back and I'm going to paste that link over here. Okay. Then it is asking me to paste the machine key. So how to find the machine key in case you have not copied it you hit on the machines and I have I have um, you know I have shown you how to create this so I'm going to copy this machine key for Rakesh and I'm going to provide the machine key over here and hit on connect the moment I do it you will see first of all it will try to connect and it will say connected and licensed so if you follow my process entirely the way I have taught you you would finally see it will say connect and license in case it is saying unlicensed please follow my video from the beginning as i am doing try to do it you will also see the same output connected and licensed okay now once this is done it will be very easy the moment you open uipath studio i have closed that sign in page in the uipath studio now if you open your uipath studio you will see it will automatically sign in you don't have to do anything on the studio now why because my UiPath assistant is already connected so it will understand that and it is going to automatically help you sign in okay so a lot of things you have learned how to work on this orchestra page and how do you set up your UiPath assistant even that you have learned let's wait for this UiPath studio to sign in give it few seconds okay now you can see it did not ask me to sign in it automatically signed in Okay, so once inside, you can go through this all this learnings. I'm going to close it, and the very first thing you will do is hit on this process, give it a name, you know, so that you can start learning your creating your workflow, start creating robots, all of these things. You have to give it a name. Let's say I've given it a name, Expo Hub Demo. Give it a name, hit on create. The moment you do that, right, there'll be a new workspace open for you to start learning UiPath. Okay, so let me show you that workspace, how that new workspace appears.
okay so this is how the new workspace would appear the very first thing you do is click on open main workflow all right open main workflow you click on this all right now this is the space where you will be designing your workflows or the processes you will be designing you will do automation projects on this specific workspace now there are one more important thing here if you see there are something called activity so while you you are working on this there are so many activities that you may not find on this window so first thing i would recommend you to hit on this filter option and hit on show classic okay so what you have to do click on this activity window click on this option and hit on show classic okay so hit on this show classic enable this and then whatever activity for example open browser okay all this activities you will be able to easily find it all right open browser activity just drag and drop and you will be able to follow a lot of videos that i have created on my channel on using these applications and how do you create let's open browser i want to open gmail right how just type your gmail url over here and run it it is going to open the gmail so there are a lot many things you are going to learn if you have come to my channel please see there are so many 400 plus videos that i have created that you can take benefit of so thank you guys for watching it i'm going to come up with more such interesting contents to help you understand the concepts of how do you work on UAPA Studio and how you can build your knowledge. Thank you guys. Take care. We are going to meet again in the next video. Bye-bye.